Hey what's up guys, welcome back to another Final Fantasy XIV playthrough video as we continue with my Endwalker journey. Hope you guys are excited, let's get into a recap. Last time, as we finished up our delivery of Adamantite to Old Charlian in order to increase the efficiency of the Ark, the ship that will ferry humanity to the moon to escape the final days, we spoke with many of our past friends and acquaintances, then journeyed downwards to Thaumazin, where we would follow Forshino to the Ark and the access point to the Ethereal Sea, where we hoped to speak with Heidelin herself. As we stare down at the swirling depths of ether below, Forshino and Kryl offer to keep our souls from dissolving by teleporting us out if things get rough, with a final note that this is also known as the Underworld, where souls go for their final resting place, and like our friends back in time in Elpis suggested, forgotten memories may reveal themselves once again. With that, we journeyed into the Iteoscope dungeon following a winding, platformed pathway ever deeper downwards into the Ethereal Sea. Our fallen comrades such as Harshifont, Minfilia and Moonbreda lending a helping hand along the way. We approach the end and encounter the sundered soul of Amon, battling him with more help from Yuzil and Shiva, finally putting his soul to rest in victory. We watch as Amon remembers his life as Hermes, his attempt to hide the memories of the Warrior of Light in Elpis burned deeper into his soul over and over again with every Sundering and Fandaniel, finally wrestling with the actions taken. Was this the only way? Is this the answer he was searching for? As Amon struggles, the soul of Azahi appears, severely frustrated with Van Daniel for using his body to betray his beloved Lord Xenos, dragging the soul of Amon and Hermes into oblivion. But Hydaelyn awaits as we cross a light steeped bridge towards her domain, lo and behold arriving before the Mother Crystal itself, for the Warrior of Light like many a meeting prior, and thus descends a welcoming Hydaelyn, winged and… well, yeah. She remembers our time in Elpis as Vena, the rivers of time now converging like once she promised. Hydaelyn tells us that to flee the star is but one of two paths, the other leading to confronting Meteon at the edge of the universe, and challenges the Scions one final time to prove themselves capable of traversing the stars to silence the Song of Oblivion. In acceptance, we engage in battle with the last remaining primal, Hydaelyn herself summoning all our might to overcome the power of the crystals we once collected for her, dodging the waves of light we once saw threaten the first, and showing her one last time that the scions and man are worthy of the final challenge ahead, the walk to the end. In an incredibly emotional cutscene, a bested and weakened Hydaelyn remains on the floor, though she informs us that she had always stored a reserve of her power for that very fight. Yishtola very aptly theorizes that Hydaelyn's choice to sunder the star into 14 meant the beings of the very shards would have a reduced etheric density, meaning easier interaction with Dynamis, as we learned in Elpis. Thus, she suspects Hydaelyn planned this as another path to overcoming despair all along, entrusting us with her power, the power of the universe the best Meteon once and for all, bequeathing a crystal onto us, containing the memories of Meteon's passage throughout the stars with which the Loperits can guide us to our final foe. To travel so far would require vast amount of energy, but again Hydaelyn had a plan. Since becoming the will of the star and remaining hidden, she gathered the ether of the embodiment of the planet's will and crystallized it in her place, the mother crystal, our final hope. She references the first time she called to the Warrior of Light, darkness and light, despair and hope, as goeth one, so goeth the other, become light, become hope. She bestows a final gift upon the Warrior of Light, weaving the powers of stability into the crystal of Azem, allowing us to create form to the formless, creation magics. We then, teary-eyed, say our last goodbye to Vena, Hydaelyn, our guiding light, and she her children. 
as we return to the surface to prepare for the final battle of the star. And that's about where we left it off. Don't forget if you're new here to hit the subscribe button. Welcome, appreciate you guys. Hit the join button if you want to help support the channel. Thank you to all my members who continually support the channel. And also check out all of the links in the description below if you want to head over to the Discord channel and get involved with any of the rating content that we do. Hope to see some of you guys over there. But without further ado, let's get into the video. Ojika Sunjika. Aha! I've been expecting you. I heard about your foray into the ethereal sea. The students have ventured far and wide, but never quite so deep as that. Are you experiencing any after effects from your prolonged exposure? Nausea? Dizziness? Hauntings? Hmm? Well, have a pleasant sleep. If you do experience any unusual phenomena, please let me know. I shall add it to our records. We know what's coming. Retire to my chamber. Wow, it's dark in here. And it's quiet. The moon. Oh, <gasps> the moon's dark? Oh. Because she's dead. There you are. Some time, indeed. It's yes. Yes. For you, at least. Believe me, I'd meant to get some proper sleep. But here we are, drifting along instead. Well, well, you too. And so we remain to watch and wonder. So we are we in the ethereal sea? We can just explore it? <laughs> yes, indeed. To begin, Whoa, we first, like, first must see the end. The end. <laughs> that was loud. It's like they wanted to emphasize that. Wait, but I thought the moon was... Where's that light coming from? Damn. That was the ethereal sea. That's what all the bubbles are about, right? We Because we, we have like the power of Heidel and now we can, we can explore that at any point, is my guess. Or unless that's Dynamis or something. Something to do with Dynamis, maybe? Who? I trust you have had a good rest. An envoy of Master Fortunos arrived not long ago with a message. The Loperates have determined Meteon's location. We have been asked to gather at the Rostra. I'll meet you there, along with the others. Okay. Bye, Tataru. Hydaelyn, the heart of the star, is gone. And yet on the morrow, the sun will rise and life will go on. When I look upon Charlien and its idyllic surrounds, there are moments when her embrace feels unreal. As to the final days, would that it were so. Ishtola seems very emotional about this, more so than usual. How did you sleep? Well, I should hope. It's likely the last opportunity we will- He always says this. It's likely the last opportunity we will have to take a proper rest for quite some time. I probably could have done with a few more winks myself. Ugh. <laughs> or a burger. The thought of what's to come was keeping me awake, you see, so I thought to do a bit of research, hoping I might eventually feel weary enough to doze off. But before I realized it, it was already morning. 
No need to scold me. I already regret it, and will probably only feel that regret more keenly as the day wears on. Everyone appears to be present and accounted for. Good. As you know, the Loperitz have deduced the whereabouts of Meteon by means of a crystal bequeathed to us by Heidelin herself. Your quarry's location is a place far beyond the moon, in the farthest reaches of the Sea of Stars, at the edge of creation. A veritable Ultima Thule. Ultima? Indeed. How then are we able to reach it? An excellent question. Luckily for you, I have an equally excellent answer. In theory, with its advanced propulsion systems, the moon is capable of delivering you to Ultima Thule. But the myriad of other facilities housed within will greatly impede travel through the Sea of Stars. Even the Mother Crystal may not possess ether enough to bear so massive a vessel to our destination and back. However, if we integrate our Hyperlopper into your ether burner, we should be able to fire things up and jump our way to the end of the universe in no time. Father, does this mean... Is he coming with us? Bear in mind this decision was made not solely at my discretion, but with the consent of the Forum. Hearing the Loperate's proposal, the Forum was faced with a grave decision. To commit the Ark to this endeavour would mean abandoning both our plans to evacuate to the Moon and to resettle on another star. Needless to say, the proposition invited fierce debate. In the end, however, the Forum was swayed by the simple fact that Heidelin believed you possessed of the strength needed to overcome this crisis. The Great Exodus was, after all, a plan of Heidelin's own making. Therefore, if in the eleventh hour she would proffer another means by which we may seek salvation, we would be fools to dismiss it out of hand. Indeed, she sacrificed everything, her very existence, to avert the destruction of this star. That is why we have chosen to place our faith in Heidelin, in you. The Ark will be made ready for your voyage to Ultima Thule. What? What of all people that have laboured so tirelessly to prepare for the evacuation? They must be furious. I would not be so sure. They have not forgotten your deeds on the Magna Glacius, nor did your instrumental role in orchestrating the delivery of Adamantite go unnoticed. No, the people do not protest, quite the contrary. They have expressed unwavering support for you and your mission. Yay! Finally! Are the Loperits willing to abandon the Exodus? Why are you not listening when we said we were born of Eidolon's love for Atheris and its people? If it means your survival, we would do anything to help. And you'll most certainly have need of our expertise where you're going. There's no guarantee Ultima Thule is a place that supports life, an otherwise vexing problem of our know-how can remedy. Besides, Heidelin chose us to lead the way to Meteon. Why else would she give you a crystal only we can decipher? But more importantly, we were perfectly content to evacuate Atheris until you brought us here, Uriange. And now we're enamoured with the place, so what choice do we have but to save it? It's very true. They're becoming their own little adventurers. Of course, none of this is possible without you and the Scions, so I must ask, are you certain you wish to do this? <laughs> yeah, no, whoa. Here we go. The illusion of choice. You couldn't stop us if you tried. We'll avert the final days, whatever it takes. We've come this far. Ah, oh, it has to be that one, right? That was our involved.
Very well. We shall inform the forum of your decision and begin preparations to bolster the Ark with the, uh, Hyper Hopper. The Loperitz will coordinate with the Ilsebar contingent to have the necessary components transported via the Tower of Babel. Of course, it will take time until the work is complete. For now, pray take your ease. Okay. Twould seem there is naught to do but rest and prepare, shall we? Just as long as we don't have to go running around talking to NPCs, okay? Alright boys, we are nearly ready to set seal for the end. Ere we depart, we must leave nothing undone. Quite. Though it is difficult to conceive of how one can best prepare to brave a domain where Dynamis governs all. Nevertheless, Heidelin deemed us worthy of the trials that await. For lack of any other feasible options at this late stage, let us trust in her judgement and face Meteon as we are. Maybe buy like a pot helm or something, that might help. Which leaves the not so small task of coordinating our efforts here to you and Tataru. If all goes to plan, we'll be back before you know it. I certainly hope so. We will be praying for your safe return. Mayhap it will affect the Dynamis for the better. With that settled, we should get some rest and make the most of the time we've been afforded. Hmm? We've run out of money, Alphino. The meeting's over, is it? You were in there for so long, I started to worry. What did they have to say? Oh, we're going off again into Tara. <laughs> I feel so bad for her every time now. The edge of creation. I see. Rest assured, everything will remain in order until you return. And you will return. Actually, too. Could I borrow you for a moment? Looks like your plans for the interim are decided. When the two of you have finished, meet us back at the Baldesian Annex, alright? Tari's gonna take me into a closet again and take my measure. Come with me to the Agora. I have something to show you. Okay. Welcome to to Tataru Taru's boutique. Which she bought a pli No. Really? That's awesome. I've always done my best to provide the sounds with fashionable attire, but in your case specifically, I make an extra effort to strive for the most functional yet stylish clothing one could ask for. Not that I'm playing favorites, but you are the warrior of light. Faced with this unprecedented crisis, I knew you would need an ensemble unlike anything I've created before, and that I wouldn't be able to do it alone. And so, after enlisting the aid of the world's finest artisans, I finally completed my career-defining masterpiece. But then inspiration struck, and I saw a golden opportunity just begging to be seized. With the help of some Thavnerian refugees, I decided to set up shop in Charlian. Of course, I would never charge you for any of our works, damn right, perish the thought. Varsa Rude. How are things coming along? Oh, it's her. Ah, okay. She got a job. That's cool. Everything is in order, Mr. Sitaru. We'll be ready to open shortly. I hope she's paying them well. Which is why I brought you here to be our very first patron. Aww. Would you mind waiting here for a moment longer? Wait for Tataru's boutique to open. Okay, get your popcorn, boys. Oh, this is going to feature a lot of people, isn't it? That's what they usually do. Zero out of three fish. Wait, what's wrong with that guy? <laughs> what's this guy doing? Ah, I did not expect to find you here. Ah. I am 
imagine Nidana would also wish to offer her regards. Alas, after delivering our dragon skills to the engineers, she remained to assist with their work on the ether burner. This simulacrum too will stay in Charlian while I oversee matters at Razatan. It is a rather inconvenient means to keep abreast of developments pertaining to the final days or anything else. It also allows me, after a fashion, to watch over my people in this distant land. Farshan, I was hoping you'd stop by. I can't thank you enough for allowing your artisans to work with me here at the boutique. Please, it is I who should be thanking you. This establishment has restored a sense of normalcy to their lives. You have blessed them with newfound purpose and a means by which to support themselves in these troubled times. What's more, when they at last return home to Radzatan, the experience and knowledge that they have gained in your employ will no doubt prove a boon to the artistry and commerce of our land. In fact, I come here to see your new employees are settling in and to express my gratitude for granting them this opportunity. It's an opportunity for me as well, believe you me. Your artisans have taught me so much about Thavnerian craftsmanship. Their resourcefulness and ingenuity are nothing short of inspiring. I can't wait to see what kind of wonders we'll come up with. I pray you every success in your endeavors, Mistress Tataru. Before coming here, I heard word of the Forum's decision, of what will soon be attempted. It was only then that I finally understood why my father called this star the last bastion of hope. Indeed, it was the last bastion, for the flame of every other star he encountered had likely been extinguished. In the boundless dark, the light of brimming life must have been blinding in its splendor. You journey unto the heavens to protect that light. May the scales of my kin serve you well. I have faith you will prevail and restore peace and tranquility to this star. Oh, Ahuan, word that he didn't get eaten. I should like to visit Razatan again when this is all over. And we should be honored to receive you. There is still much of Razatan you have yet to see. Forgive me, but I must take my leave. Fare you well, and remember the people of this star have not yet given up hope, and neither must you. Okay. Who's up next? <laughs> This guy's still struggling. Can we go see what's wrong with this guy? Ah, uh, where must I go to get a meal with some flavor in this wasteland of taste? Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, bro. Hey, old boy. Why, whatever are you doing here? I could say the same thing. A new boutique, you say? Hmm. I'd be meaning to expand my wardrobe. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, something with a little more flair, perhaps. Befitting a man of my station. Though I have nowhere to flaunt said Ryman so long as my confinement continues indefinitely. I, the young Lord Fortomp, insists that, so as long as there is work to be done, no matter how trivial, I must abide here in Charlian. Thus do I toil, through every fiber of my being reels against it. Why, I've even suffered the company of that brute- uh, Okay, I understand that. That brute sick art to see supplies transported in a timely fashion. Yet he was the one granted leave this morning to participate in some supposed covert operation. So I suffer instead for his otherwise welcome absence. Now I'm burdened with extra busy work, and without Anwa here, there is no one to prepare my meals. I came here in the hopes of finding a nice cafe, perhaps. Alas, the Charlian delicacies I've sampled were lacking in every respect. He should go visit Dickon, our favorite caterer. Have you tried Archon Loaf? Now we gotta we gotta introduce him to Dickon. If a hearty meal is what you're after, I'd suggest the last stand. The cafe over on the pier. 
Their cuisine didn't appear all that appetizing, but... If you vouch for their cooking, then perhaps I will give it a try. Thank you for the suggestion. And ta-ta for now, old boy. <laughs> what else do we got? Is our boy still struggling? One of these days he's going to stand up. Who is that? Well, well. Is that Tu and Tataru I spy? Oh, it's nobody. Aye! Hancock, what are you still doing here? You said you were returning immediately after dropping off your cargo. Yes, that was my original plan. After all, any expertise required aside from the delivery of goods is well beyond my purview. But what manner of entrepreneur would squander an opportunity to study the markets of the northern seas? Worry not, I will return straight ways to Kugane once I have finished. Of course you would find a way to turn this crisis to your advantage. She wounds me, the industrious woman running a new boutique. I'm not blind to the travails of those who fight on the front lines to deliver us from ruin. Indeed, I have every confidence they will succeed, and I would make myself and my business ready for their return. If you believe in them so devoutly, then why not put your money where your mouth is? Fair enough, Tataru, fair enough. There is not more I can do to help ready the Ark and her heroes for their maiden voyage, but on your return, I shall host a grand celebration in your honour at the Bacaro Inn. Accommodations are quite costly, given the reputation of said establishment, but the East Aldenar Trading Company would be honoured to foot the bill. Will there be lemon cakes? <laughs> oh ho, a man of tart tastes, I see. Yes, there will be lemon cakes and much, much more. The finest delicacies the world and Lord Lolorito have to offer. <laughs> that face. But let us speak more of this upon your return, lest I draw even more of Tataru's ire. Until next we meet. Okay, party in the Bukairo Inn. I'm done. Who have we got? Nope, dude's still struggling in that armor. There's nobody left. <gasps> this one's a long one. Oh! I too decided to spend your time at the markets, did you? Ah, uh, Taru, does he still have a little crush? A little onion head. Big wedge. I take it work in the orc proceeds apiece. Aye, it does indeed. Collaborating with the greatest minds of Charlian and Radzatan has been a rewarding experience. And that's to say nothing of what we've learned from the Loperitz. The Ark is unlike anything we've ever had the pleasure to work on. Even Nero was rendered speechless on more than one occasion. I can't wait for you to see it. And you'll never guess who paid us a visit before we came to Charlian. Alpha. I think he sensed the coming danger and returned to check on us. Aw. He was always one to turn up in a time of need. And I suppose that's why he decided to join us here in Charlian. Good thing too. I don't know how he does it, but he has a knack for brightening your day just by being there. Qua. It's still hard to believe we have the means to send you off into the great expanse, though. To the farthest known reaches of, well, everything. I never thought I'd live to see such marvels. Yet here I am. More often than not, you and the Scions are the catalyst that sparks the need for these great innovations. To think how much I'd have missed out on had I not been a member of the Ironworks. 
an awful lot of work to be fair, and the privilege of being worked like a cart chocobo. <laughs> ah, there is that too. As busy as we've been, I wish there was more we could do for you too. But no matter what happens, we have to keep believing for a brighter future. Ah, and one filled with even more adventure. That, that's their slogan, right? For a brighter future or something by technology. When you head back, would you tell the engineers I'll be along shortly with refreshments? That's very kind of you, Tataru. They'll be glad to hear it. And on that note, Wedge and I should get going. Still a few more supplies to gather before we return. Bye, guys. Is this the first time we've seen these two? Oh. Say it. Say it. Oh, I thought he was finally going to do it. Terribly sorry for the wait. Right this way, if you please. Oh, she made it in all that time? That's crazy. Or was she just getting him from the box? Right. I don't believe the two of you have been formally introduced. This is Varsarud from Palika's Stand. We met? No? Haven't we met before? Didn't I save your ass? Ah, yes. It was you who helped us at Perusa. And again when crossing the ice fields, was it not? I doubt we exchanged a little more than glances then, but it is kind of you to remember me. Thanks to Mistress Tataru, I and many of my friends have found gainful employment in this foreign land. It is only natural to feel fear in the face of calamity. In such times we must look to one another for strength and succor. I know not whether we will come to call this place home or return to Thavner, but we are here today and are glad to have contributed to the cause. And contribute they did, helping to make your new garments as durable as possible. We put our hearts and souls into them, and I have every confidence they'll keep you safe in the battle to come. Tataru's clothes are always bangers, I love them. Gods, to think how far we've come since our humble beginnings at the Waking Sands. From the rising stones to the falling snows, and even a certain insufferable someone's ruby bazaar. We were always fortunate to find friends along the way. Even when you were swept away to the first, Grahatia was there to grant you sanctuary. I'll never forget the relief I felt when you all returned to us. I thought my heart would burst. Tataru. Oh, She's been the secret MVP the whole time. Yours has been a long, long journey. And I've been privileged to watch, often with bated breath, as you persevered time and time again. For all the joy we've shared, there's been such sorrow as well, but I've long since learned you can't have one without the other. Which is why I promise to send you off to the Sea of Stars with a smile. No. Oh. And you can be certain, I'll be the first one to welcome you back on your return. She's always been there for us. You gotta love her, man. In addition to your new ensemble, we have raiments and weaponry for every need. So please, feel free to browse our stock. Ooh, new merchant. You may now obtain job-specific gear from Var Sarud. Var 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 Sarud. Var Sarud. <laughs> nice glam, bro. Not bad. Not bad. I realize you've still got lots to do before you depart, so I won't keep you any longer. I do hope you can find a moment for yourself, and that the others can as well. They said they were returning to the Baldessian Annex, though I doubt they stayed for long. If you decide to go looking for them, I'd suggest speaking with Kryle first. I'm sure they would have told her their plans. Okay. 
You sure know they're not having a house party in the level of your mansion? That's what I would do. You're back. I take it you received your gift from Totaru. I did. It was a surprise long in the making. With many, many long hours of fretting to get everything just right, I'm glad to see it realized. And with great success. If you're looking for the others, though, they've already taken their leave. Ishtola, Thankrid, and Uriange have gone to the last stand for a bite to eat. I knew it as well. We were definitely going to go there. Alize and Grahatia, meanwhile, thought their time would be better spent poring over books at Nomenon. As for Alphanode and Astinian, well, they've elected to pay visit to the level your estate. House party! Although Astinian seems somewhat reluctant to go, I'm sure they would all be glad for your company if you've a mind to seek them out. Should you be feeling peckish, I'd suggest heading to the last stand before you stole and the others finish eating. But above all else, it would be foolish to run headlong into battle a fatigued mess. So do remember to get a good night's sleep. Hey! Holy spread! Oh, they get the good burgers as well. And the pizza? You stole it on the wine already? Try as she might, Tataru had no chance of standing between you and a hearty meal. Don't worry, we saved some for you. As thou perchance had the opportunity to partake of the rainbow pudding, owing to- don't say pudding! Pudding ways around. Owing to its striking flavor and somewhat garish appearance, it is quite popular. Indeed, so popular that the last stand's stock had been entirely exhausted. I should hope, at the very least, Pudding Way did sup upon this most delectable of desserts. You should have drunk it and <laughs> she's moved on from the tea. She's like, well, the end of the world, guys. Let's get on the, the red wine. Ooh, come to make a trio of our quartet, have you? Your business with Chitaru was finished. My, what a thoughtful surprise. Hmm. <laughs> Whatever would we do without her? Oh, she's definitely getting wine drunk. Indeed. And she's right, you know. It hasn't been all doom and gloom. Feels like a lifetime ago that Master Louis Soir gathered us together to form the Circle of Knowing. Since then, we have experienced much. But rather than feeling wiser, the more I learn, the more I find my knowledge lacking. Forsooth. As a student, vainly did I believe that <laughs> I held the secrets of creation in my grasp. Yet that which I had seized was but an insignificant sliver of what awaited in the wider world. Every encounter, every experience hath served to open mine eyes, enlightening and humbling me in equal measure. Even from those whom I called enemies have I learned many a valuable lesson. Like, don't die. What will we learn at the edge of the universe, I wonder? Is she already drunk? She seems a little woozy. Ultima Thule. Where the bringer of the end makes her nest. <laughs> I, for one, can't possibly imagine. <laughs> Whatever awaits us there, we will survive. We must. For her. Okay. They didn't capitalize it. So I'm assuming we're talking about Reen. I would have expected it would have been for Heidelin or Buna, but I do think he's talking about Reen. Or Minfilia. Could be either. Not to Reen, not to Min nor Minfilia. Just <laughs> make sure you bring enough ammunition. Is what the matter? <laughs> He's like, how did he know? No, it's nothing. I just... Well, lately I find myself surprised at how much I've changed. How much we've all changed. Dad cred. <laughs> oh, she... Is she eating pizza? Don't tell me she's eating <laughs> pizza. We've come far together. With the and knife if we and have fork. all to say about it, we'll go further still. Aye. We will avert this calamity and return home. God damn, look at how he like pristinely cut this sandwiches. It's like wooden blocks. In preparation for which, we must give thought to what we hope to achieve after the proverbial dust is settled. Vacation time. What with the primals and Asians all but dealt with, 
I suppose we'll need to look for new hobbies. In all seriousness, though. Hmm. In uniting to overcome a common foe, the disparate peoples of the world have found a way forward together. It's a truly gratifying sight to see. Indeed. Though it was many years in the making, we have successfully set in motion the gears of fundamental change. With this, we have fulfilled our humble role as a symbol of hope. And I dare say it is time to bow out. No. <gasps> Not yet. After all, there is no shortage of hands to bear the torch in our stead. You know, I never really considered I might live long enough to see an after. But even if my time as a scion came to an end, I don't expect that much would change. It's so weird, though. It's the end of the scions. Kind of doesn't have to be, though. Traveling the world. Going wherever the wind blows. Lending a hand to those in need. A journey for journey's sake. It doth suit thee well. I must confess, I too have yearned to see more of the world. If thou art amenable to the suggestion, I would accompany thee. <gasps> Mine ability to affect an air of normalcy through artful disguise is much improved, thou must concede. Aye, <laughs> well, improvement is relative. You still look suspicious no matter what you wear. As he wears all his, like, shining gold shit. <laughs> it's like, yes, surely. Inconspicuous. What of you, Ishdola? Any grand plans? Why, continue my quest for knowledge, naturally. To begin with, I wish to know the state of the reflections, to which end I must find a means to travel between worlds. Tis the least I must do if I am to keep my promise. So she wants to establish a way for us to get to the first. That'll be interesting. Or for everybody to get to the first. Gotta get back to Runar, that's true. <laughs> God damn it. Should my pursuits prove unduly arduous, I won't hesitate to call on you. And in return, I will take you to see Reen one day. I'm sure you cannot wait to see the fine young woman she has become. Oh. <laughs> Spare me. <laughs> Truly died, Grid. And what of thee? What wouldst thou pursue at duty's end? Wine, sir? Here's yours. My apologies for the wait. Well, shall we make a toast? A companion, maybe? It should have been me. <laughs> to victory. To our comrades. To the future of the star. I don't get to say anything. Oh. The pizza. Nothing like getting drunk with the, the scions. That's nice. I say to whence came this <gasps> simulacrum <laughs> that standeth beside thee? Oh, <laughs> I was like, wait, what? He's drunk. Let's go. I see falsely. But you stole and Thancred, but moments ago employed the self-same doubling magic. All right then. Yeah. Keep thy secrets. <laughs> you can always count on your friends to help you maintain perspective. A pity mine take a perverse pleasure in it. I like to think I give as good as I get, though I'd fare better with the occasional assist from our consummate nodder. <laughs> but it's all in good fun, and I wouldn't have it any other way. Nods. <laughs> We've been nodding since day one. That plus the Ellison. Ah. Leaving so soon, I suppose it's for the best. 
If you'd rather not explore the bottom of a bottle with the Rion J, I dare say the others would welcome your company as well. If you can find them, that is. In any case, as long as you make the most of your time, then that is all that matters. These guys are just pre-drinking for the level your house party. The big summer blowout. The level your mansion. There's always one, isn't there? There's always one that drinks a little too much at the pre-game. Wait, what is he wearing? Estinian? Bro? No, he's not doing it too, is he? This was- No, 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 no. This was my play, bro. This was my play. The blonde hair. No, 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 no. I changed mine before the expansion. You changed yours during the expansion. No, no, no. He even copied the shirt and everything. She's mine. Wait, you got a little dagger? Why? Oh. What brings you here? I'm here to steal your mom. Ah, so you were worried that the Levia household might again be gripped by turmoil. <laughs> House party. All is well, I assure you. In my letters home, I had made mention of Astinian, you see. My mother wished Aww. to meet the legend in person, and so we arranged to have a spot of tea together. May I join? Where were you in my hour of need? Fell beasts I can face, but I'm not made for idle chit-chat with lords and ladies. Oh, wait, they already did it? Well, I for one thought you held your own. Mother was the picture of delight. Of course she was. <laughs> I might have been delighted myself, were we in a tavern with more agreeable drink. The thought of fleeing crossed my mind, but what then? <laughs> I'd never hear the end of it, least of all from Tataru. I'm sorry. It was not my intent to cause you such distress. <laughs> it's just... It was one of the things I didn't want to leave undone ere we set forth. It's crazy. He he fights like crazy dragons and shit, like rides dragons and Alfie's mom is the one. I, I get it, honestly, I get it. She's the, the one that bests him. That's not to say I think we won't be returning. Yet, given what lies ahead, I did not wish to leave for later that which I could do today. After all, tomorrow is never promised. It's fine. Not like I had better things to do. Besides, seeing you with your mother brought back fond memories of my own. Be we rich or poor, family is family. Well, it's past time we were on our way. Ah. Uh... He was calling Alfie family. Wait. Since I left home, I've made a great many mistakes. Mistakes for which I can never make amends. But through it all, you didn't give up on me. To have returned here with you at my side, it means more to me than you know. Alfie, me boy. Thank you. From the bottom of my heart. The campfire. <sighs> Remember the campfire? Forgive me, but it needed to be said. I'm the one who owes you thanks. Oh. Were it not for you, I would not be alive today, nor come to terms with Nidhogg's spirit. I am ever grateful. Oh. We've broken through the edgy shell. I suppose I ought to thank you both as well. Well, we needn't make it a competition. <laughs> you know, I thank you guys more. This must be what Heidelin meant when she spoke about depending on one another. 
however treacherous the road before us, together we will prevail. So, no house party? Do any of these other doors open up? No. As if they don't show us her room. Alright, to Numenon. Hello? Ah, too, I've come to this studium in order to study the ways of pudding. <laughs> Alas, my creations don't jiggle as they should just yet, but I persevere. I would not have suspected this is where pudding way would be. Hi, Guaha. Oh, he's asleep. <laughs> he tries speaking with Alize, but she is fast asleep. Guys! I should let them sleep. <gasps> I love this song. Ali. Oh. <laughs> Knowing them, they're probably dreaming about the celestial adventures to come. Just as well. They've been running themselves ragged of late. Unlike you and the others, I'm a few steps removed from the danger and excitement. The things you all get up to never fail to impress me. But by the same token, I can't help but worry. Not only for your safety, but but for your happiness. Oh, After oh. everything you've sacrificed, you earned it a thousand times over. From the simple pleasures of tucking into a hearty meal or, or collapsing into a comfortable bed, to the grand triumphs of visiting legendary lands or finding true love. That wasn't happened. You deserve all the joy in the world. I just don't think it's it's meant for me, Kryl. There is so much that life has to offer. So much to be treasured and shared with those we hold dear. So promise me this. Come what may, you won't give up on your own happiness. Oh. When you're out there fighting tooth and nail, it's all too easy to forget. But in the end, your passions will be your greatest strength of all. Remember that. Oh, I thought he was snoring. Oh, this feels familiar. Why? It is good to oh. be. Oh. Uh. Uh. Wait. Oh. What are you? What am I? <laughs> Gods, don't tell me I fell asleep. Not that there's any shame in it, but you were sleeping like babies. Oh, how embarrassing. Where is she off to? Not a word to anyone. Oh. Understood? Not one word. I'm told okay. that sleeping in proper beds of your own choosing is a much more effective way to prepare for battle. If she knows I can use it for ammunition. Okay. Oh, oh you done screwed up, Alize. So. What were the two of you doing here? I had a few books to return to the library. Thought I'd take care of it while I could. And you? It's a secret. Hmm. 
Got you back. <laughs> While you were partying, I studied the pudding. See, this is why I trust Pudding Way to get us to the... If you put a pudding at the edge of the universe, I know the Pudding Way would find it. Yeah, that was cute. I love how we referenced, like, him waking up thing again. It's nice. Yeah, they were nice. I do feel like we're getting the final kind of, let's bring all our friends together. Let's, uh, let's have the nice moments before it all kicks off, right? Right for the end. I'm ready for it. Welcome back to... Return to catch a final few winks before embarking on your mission, I presume? You'll be happy to know your chambers have been cleaned and fresh linens laid out. I pray you enjoy the sweetest dreams on this final night before the big day. Here we go. That night at the Royal Menagerie in Alamigo. Hey, yo. Oh, he wants to see this spot again. He changed his hair? I would say emo fears, but that's just Xenos. Okay, he's, he's normal again. You will never get what you want. <gasps> Not even the battle you pine for so dearly. Alize's words. Did they hit, hit deep? In that transcendent moment, what was it that I sought in you? Is Zenos going to become the good guy? And what was it that you sought in me? And thus it dawns. The day of reckoning? That's ominous. I'm up bright and early. In my Fall Guys shoes. Only the best. Is this like the final time? Oh. The final time we do the, the Scions meeting. How often have we thus assembled? To combine our knowledge and seek solutions to the problems before us. Back at the Waking Sands, it was all we could do to address the most minor of troubles. Who could have realized what we'd find when we began to look to the sources of the realm's woes? At the Rising Stones, we made great strides and shared many moments. From the joyous to the sorrowful. We've had occasion to call other places home too. Orgy. Be it Ishgard or Kugane, we were fortunate to find sanctuary wherein we might take stock and continue our fight. I was honored to host this company in the Crystarium. To stand with you all as we confronted the truth of the star itself. And now from this place, we go to fight the most important battle of all. Here we go. 
The Forum has sent word. The Ark is ready. The Loperates naturally will be commanding the vessel. They will see the eight of you to Ultima Thule. Aww. Upon arriving, your objective is to find and vanquish Meteon. As a final formality, the Forum bade me ascertain your resolve. So, are you certain you wish to do this? Don't give me the option. I'm going to click no. We're all going to nod, aren't we? In unison. We are. Then, ere you report to Thalmasane, I leave you with these words. You must triumph. What that means will differ for each of you. To make it back home, or to simply avert doom, <laughs> or perhaps something else altogether. Yet whatever it is that drives you, I have faith in its power to see you through. So please, triumph. Triumph, as we who remain behind believe you will. Riley. Ah. Let us be off then. Wait. Both Kryle and I will be there to see you off, but as your receptionist, I feel I need to say this here. Safe journey, all of you, and oh, be safe. Oh. Well, there we have it. That's the final Scions meeting. Maybe. Probably. They really hit all the emotional strings. It's like the emotional checkpoints have been picked and, you know, we're tying all the loose ends for the whole journey before we, we do our final venture. All right. Well, that seems like a pretty good place to call it before we head off on our journey to the edge of the universe to confront Meteon and Xenos as well, probably. I'm not entirely sure how he's going to play into it, whether that's going to happen before, during or after. Maybe we end up fighting him in the patches. I don't know. It's getting closer and closer to the end. It's bittersweet. I love that we're getting all of this really rich story stuff, but it's of course sad that we're getting towards the end of it all. And you really felt that with this episode with regards to how they built up like the friendship stuff and the Scion's final meeting. As well, you feel a lot of emotions with that because it's kind of a culmination of your entire journey and you're you're getting towards the last time that you ever do that. In particular, I loved how we got the Alfie Estinian kind of resolution finally. Ever since Heaven's Word and that night out camping we went on going up to zenith to meet reisvelger with shiva or with the uh, izil that, that was really cool so i'm glad we finally got that around it feels like a lot of those things are resolving and 
yeah, it was a great episode for that. But right now it feels like the final breath before the plunge, the calm before the storm. The last time we're gonna get some uh, good sleep as Graha likes to put it. So yeah, I'm very excited for what's to come. It feels like we are very, very close to the end. Maybe only a couple more episodes for the big finale. So keep a lookout for that. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know if you did, let me know what you thought. If you're new here and you're enjoying my videos, don't forget to subscribe. I appreciate you guys and welcome. Drop the video a like as well uh, if you enjoyed it. Yeah, join the Discord and everything to hang out, get involved with the raids. We're looking for people for Epic of Alexander Ultimate soon, so I'm really looking forward to that. If you want to get involved, links in the description below for everything as always. Appreciate you guys. Hope to see you for the next one. Take care. Peace.